Singaporeans, friends and residents of Pasiris Bongo GRC, Siglap, I beg your pardon, Sengkang West and Pongolis. We haven't posted him out anywhere, don't worry. What is this election about? It is about your future. The future of your children, your families and your grandchildren. In the last five years, we have faced together many difficulties. We had the most severe global downturn in 70 years and many countries like Iceland, Ireland, collapsed completely. But we stayed united and took decisive action to overcome the crisis. And we were able to do so quickly and rapidly. We had jobs credit, which helped 100,000 employers and 1.4 million Singaporean workers save their jobs. The crisis was so serious that for the first time ever, we had to draw on our reserves. And all Singaporeans understood and realized why, over so many years, we had to build up our reserves. Now, however, the opposition parties seem to have forgotten why we need the reserves and how the reserves gave us comfort and confidence during a period of crisis. And they now want to raid the reserves for all kinds of clever ideas. To them, $60 billion is small change. Do you know how many zeros there are in $60 billion? There are 10 zeros in $60 billion. That, to the government, is not small change. Because that is the hard work and savings of many generations of Singaporeans which should not be treated so lightly. Our economic measures allowed us to rebound quickly and grow 14.5% last year, probably the highest growth rate in the world. Unemployment has come down to below 3%, while many other countries still face unemployment of 10% or higher. And the worst part is unemployment for young people in these countries is usually twice that, 15, 20%, which means one out of four, one out of five, one out of six young people can't find a job. Whereas in Singapore, whether you come from ITE or Poly or University, you come out three months, six months, nine months, you have a job, you can progress. Even though the economy has recovered, we are still facing the effects from the very sharp downturn and then upturn of the economy that has taken place in just a short space of two years. Who could have known that the economy was going to go down into such a deep dive two years ago? and then swing back up so sharply within such a short space of time. This has obviously caused some dislocations in our economy. I understand the concerns that Singaporeans have over cost of living. We are doing everything we can to help. But almost everything we consume is important. Food, energy, and we are not able to control the prices of these items which are set on the world market. Even countries that grow food or produce oil cannot continue to subsidize these items without causing serious damage to their country's budget or to their economies. So the Singapore government has adopted a different approach to help Singaporeans cope with the cost of living. Instead of subsidizing the goods, we give subsidies, rebates, grants, top-ups, and growth bonuses directly to families and individuals. And this is a more effective and direct way of assisting especially the low income and our elderly, elderly Singaporeans to cope with the pressures of life and the strains of the cost of living. Through these measures, a typical household will receive three to four thousand dollars of benefits this year from various rebates, top-ups, and growth bonuses. We hope that this will help lighten the burden for our families and ease their concerns a little about the cost of living. One example is the USAFE and SNCC rebates in 2011, which will benefit 800,000 households from lower and middle income families. And this is in addition to the rebates that were announced in 2007. 
adult Singaporeans who receive growth dividends of between $100 to $800 this year. And most will receive six to eight hundred dollars, and this is because of the very good growth that we enjoyed last year. Older Singaporeans have to be particularly taken care of, and we have remembered that. Their main concern is health care, and older Singaporeans, age forty-five and above, will receive between three hundred and seven hundred dollars each in their Medisave accounts. We hope. This will help to reduce the burdens and the worries they have and their families have over medical costs. We have also helped lower income workers and older workers to get jobs, to keep jobs, and to encourage them to do so, to encourage employers to employ them, and to reward them when they work. The WIS is a good example. Not many people know that WIS helps 400,000 Singaporean workers each year with income supplements. WIS provides lower income and older workers an extra $2,800 more per year as take-home pay and to help build up their CPF accounts. And this year as a special bonus, Workfare recipients will receive an extra 50% WIS for work done in 2010 and an extra 25% for work done in 2011 and 2012. All this sounds very complicated, but i give you an example. A 55-year-old worker who earned $1,000 per month last year will usually have received $2,100 in WIS. But this year, because of the special bonuses, he will receive $3,150. What that means is, he earned $12,000 last year in total, he will get $3,000 more in WIS. That is an extra 25% of income as an encouragement and a reward to keep working. I would also like to take this opportunity to address the concerns of middle-income Singaporeans because middle-income Singaporeans say, oh, what is, it in, what is in the budget for me? Well, for middle-income Singaporeans, there is an income tax rebate of 20% kept at $2,000. So what it means is that the main beneficiaries of the income tax rebate are our middle income Singaporeans. And there will be a personal income tax rate reduction for middle income earners for 2011, 2012 income tax. We have also increased the CPF employer contribution rate by 0.5% to reach 16%, and this will benefit all workers. But we've also raised the income ceiling by $500, from $4,500 to $5,000 per month. Again, all this is very complicated, but if you take it together, you take a beneficiary who is earning $5,000 a month. When you take these two together, such a person gets more than $1,200 per month of extra CPF because of these two things. Sorry, more than $1,200 per year of CPF because of the rise in employer CPF and the rise in the CPFC. So we are also making sure that we look after our hardworking, middle-income Singaporeans and make sure that they too get their share when the economy does well. These are not short-term measures. But these are long-term parts of the structure of our economy. The WIS to encourage older workers to continue working and to reward them. Low tax rates so that when people work, they get the benefit of the salary of the work so that they are encouraged to work hard and earn more. Instead of, like in the Western countries, where you have high tax rates and people are discouraged from working. The experience of the past 10 years has shown that many unexpected crises can develop. You just look back. This is 2011. 2001. Who could have imagined that aeroplanes would crash into the two tallest buildings in the world in New York City and bring it down? And then we will have two wars. Who had heard of SARS? But it shocked us in 2003. And then we had collapse 
of the most developed, the financial centers in the most developed countries of the world. The countries that were trying to teach all the rest of the world how to run their economies and their finances, and they collapsed. Who could have imagined that? And this of crisis one after the other. And not to mention natural disasters. We had earthquakes and tsunamis in Aceh, now in Japan, volcanoes going off, blocking off flights in most of Europe. So, can we be sure that the path will be smooth for us in the future? Who knows what challenges and crises we will face in the coming years? That is why we need a strong government, a stable government, and a united people to see us through any challenge that may come. And that is why we need your support and we need your vote for the PAP to maintain this strong and capable government to lead us through the challenges of the future. We have a comprehensive program for everyone in our manifesto to help lead the country forward, to secure our future together. It is a comprehensive program that benefits all Singaporeans, young or old. We will bring more investments and good jobs to Singapore in new industries such as biotechnology and financial services. Yes, and manufacturing too. We want manufacturing in Singapore. Many hundreds of thousands of Singaporeans are working in manufacturing jobs. I'm the advisor of the United Workers of the Electronics and Electrical Engineering Industries. And I speak to the employers and our workers and our unions. I don't want any of them to lose their jobs by manufacturing going away somewhere else. We will help our workers to retrain. We will make sure that our children get an even better education and that your health concerns will be attended to. And we will make Singapore and Pasiris Pongo GRC and all our estates even better places to live in, vibrant and enduring homes. And we will also attend to your concerns today, the burning questions that you have about cost of living, jobs and income, housing, immigration, health care and aging. While we've cast our eye on the long term, we also remember the worries, the concerns, the issues that all Singaporeans face in the short term. And we try and do our best to help you, to lighten your burdens, to help you own your homes, to help you look after your parents and grandparents, to help you build strong families, to help you bring up your children and educate them well. And this is all part of the program. My colleagues and I thank you for your support. And we ask you for your support again to make the lives of our residents even better in the coming years. So do vote for the party that you trust, the party that you can depend on to secure your future. I will now ask my colleagues to tell you a little bit more about what we have planned for you in our towns and what their aspirations and hopes are together with you as fellow Singaporeans. So thank you very much and vote for the BAD. Thank you, Mr. Kyo. Thank you. Next, we would like to invite Mr. Michael Palmer on stage, representing Pongo East SMC. Welcome, Mr. Michael Palmer. Hello, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Palmer. 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 Welcome,